story to tell. After World War II, France began to rebuild and modernize its armed forces. For the Air Force, this was made more difficult due to technical problems, and aircraft factories were destroyed during the war. In June 1951, the French Air Force issued a detailed requirement for a jet, capable of operating in several roles, including bomber, low-level attack, and all-weather interception operations. In response to this requirement, French aircraft manufacturer Snesso decided to adapt its existing SO-4000 design, so that it could perform the desired mission's roles. On 16 October 1952, the first prototype of the revised design, which had been designated as the SO-4050, also known as Sud Aviation Vateur, conducted its maiden flight. In terms of its basic configuration, Sud Aviation Vatour had a shoulder wing monoplane configuration, furnished with a 35 degrees swept wing and a flying tail. Power was provided by a pair of Snecma Atar 101 turbojet engines, which were carried in pods located underneath the wings. The Vatour was equipped with a bicycle type landing gear configuration in which the main units were located upon the underside of the fore and aft fuselage, these were augmented by smaller stabilizing gear set into bottom of the engine pods. The internal space of the central fuselage was largely dedicated to a large 5-meter weapons bay, along with substantial internal fuel tankage. The three major variants became the Vatour 2A attack aircraft, fitted with four 20mm cannons and bombs, the Vatour 2B, a dedicated bomber with a redesigned and glazed nose assembly for the bombardier, and the Vatour 2 Newton night fighter with the N in the designation indicating this specific role. The night fighter variant was fitted with specialized interception radar in the nose, and was of the two-seat design. In all, just some 70 aircraft of all three types were ever delivered, despite the initial desire for the French government to field some 140 total Vatour. The only other customer for the Vatour was Israel. During its service with the Israeli Air Force, the type undertook various mission and roles and was quickly used in combat. Vatour were used during the wars between Israel and its neighbors, including the Six-Day War and the War of Attrition. Only one air-to-air -air kill was recorded by a Vatour, the type was used more for bombing and ground strafing, and was reportedly considered by Israel to be comparable to the Soviet-built Illusion Eel-28 medium bombers used by its regional adversaries. During the early 1970s, the Vatour was replaced by the American Douglas A-4 Skyhawk. Mm -hmm.